Hello, so in this video we will be seeing how to install a 3 node cluster using the simulator. So for that uh, we will need to download the simulator from the support.dmc.com. So let's type uh, is launch simulator.8.1.2. So this is the link. If you click the link uh, you will get the option download. So here is the option to download. Click on the uh, download, it will get downloaded. As I have already downloaded, let's go ahead and install it. Open your VMware workstation and just open the file and get onto the OVO file that you have downloaded. So here is a file and just import it and give a name for it. So I'm just giving it a node one. Uh, and I'm just going to change the path and I will give on this oh I'm just changing the path again yeah so it's getting imported now yeah the import is completed so now let's see the settings on the virtual machine so here are the settings so you can see the ram as 2 gb and the hard disks and these are the drives and you can see the network ad adapter as well and let's open the vm it's logging in now so the configuration files will get boot up so this will take some more time so let's wait for the wizard to pop up yeah so now we got it's asking for the format of the drives so let's go ahead and give s so this is formatting all the drive loading yeah so now we got the wizard so it's asking for uh, create a new cluster join an existing cluster or exit wizard and configure manually and reboot into smart lock compliance mode so now we are going to create a new cluster so this is the first node so let's get into the wizard and select the option number one yeah, so it's asking for the agreement and let's agree this and give s so it's asking for the password to be set for the root so we'll set that and again I'm re-entering and again it's asking for the admin and I'm setting that and it's re-entering admin so it's asking for the cluster name so let's give it as a, a test cluster and it's asking for confirmation yes so it's asking for the um, current encoding code so I'll just keep it as a default just pressing enter and so this is the interface with that so now it's asking for the internal uh, band internal network to be connected to the internal interface so now let's configure the IP range first so to configure the IP range the option is 3 so let's click that and again 1 add an IP range So now let's set the IP. So it's like 192.168. So you can set anything. It's like 247. Dot. Le. ten. Yeah. And the high IP is same. Dot. 247.25. And we are all set. And again, I'm pressing the enter. So let's verify it and we have to configure the net mask. I am pressing 1. The default is 255.255.255.0. Enter. So the configuration is all set now. And keep the current configuration. Press enter.
and so we are all set with the internal network configuration again I'll press enter so now we have to configure the external network interface so for this we will need to get the IP from our computer uh, subnet so for that you have to do on option 1 so now you have to configure the net mask MTU and the external IP for external IP so as I told uh, let's get into the command prompt and IP config now search for the Ethernet adapter VMware net 8 so we can take the IPv4 address and the same subnet so it's 192.160.17.1 so let's go with the same subnet 192.168.17.11 Oh, sorry, I have uh, just entered here. So this should not be the case. Uh, let me delete it. So I have to first enter to the IP range. So it's 3. And now add an IP1. Okay, now here I can enter 192.168.17.11. and it's asking for the high IP range so the same and I'll give it 30 so I'm reserving 20 IPs for this so each interface will get that so I'm all set I'm pressing enter now so I have to set the net mask so I'll go with the one and enter the net mask on 255.255.255.0 255 .255 so it's asking for confirmation done so it's asking for the default gateway on I'll go with 192.168.17.1 so that will be my uh, default gateway 17. Dot, yeah so the smart connect settings and we can configure it later so I'll just press enter and DNS as well and external subnet as well and it's asking for the time and date I'll keep it default so the configure cluster join mode it's asking whether you want to go with a manual or secure addition of new node I'll go to one so it's asking for the uh, changes to be committed if you are well good then press S oh sorry type S and we are all set now so now this should take us to the login page of the CLI so the drives are getting formatted here So this should take a couple of minutes to complete. Let's wait for the login to appear. Yeah, so we got it. So let's log in with the root credential that we configured, the root and the password. So we got the page. So the one of us is 8.2.0 and the test cluster. So let's go with the status command. So I got the node 1 configured so still we have to configure the other nodes so again let's repeat the same thing go to file and open and again get back the import and I'll just make it as node 2 import so the OV file is importing yeah done so let's power on the virtual machine 
uh, it's saying a oh, physical memory error okay so i'll just edit the memory of the virtual machine settings and i'm just reducing it to 1 gb and let's power on now yeah it's working so as we have done with the initial master node i mean the node configuration so again joining the other nodes should not be a big deal so it's asking for formatting and so we have to just only enter one one command so that the node gets joined to the master node yeah we got the wizard so now let's join an existing cluster to so it's showing the test cluster here that we have already set so one to join the cluster so it's joining now so this should take a couple of minutes let's wait for the login to appear yeah so we got it so let's check the node one and okay so let's configure the other node node three i'm just naming it as a node three and importing so it's getting imported here let's power on the VM and so we are getting the configurations boot up So we'll wait for the yeah website has come. So again we'll go with the join existing cluster two. So test cluster one and this is joining the cluster. So this would take a couple of minutes formatting the drives. and we should get this now yeah we got it so let's check the node one so with the easy status command yeah we got it so now let's check the uh, GUI so I'll just take the IP 192.168 dot 17 dot 11 you can use any of the external interface and the port is uh, 8080 enter yeah so we are getting the page yeah we got it let's log into root so you can log into any of the external IP yeah the three nodes are online now you can see here the version is cited 1.2.0 node 1 and the test cluster name test cluster so let's get into the storage pool and check so uh, the file pool policy will have the active activate smart pool as it is uh, not activated get into licensing so now come down you can see all nodes are unlicensed here 
So you come down, you will see an option to explore a managed trialing. Click on that and select all and start trial. So this would uh, give us a 90 days of trial period. All softwares will be uh, available and we will be able to do all the operations on the software as a licensed version for a period of time. So this would take a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's done. Evolution in progress, you can see. So close and let's again uh, revisit the storage pools and file pool policies. So here you can see the create file option. Uh, you can get all these options. So that's it on the GUI. So let's uh, again check it on the CLI as well. So just open the putty and enter the IP 192.168.17.11 and login as a root. Yeah, we got it. And I'll go with the easy status command. Yeah, so we got all the three IPs and three nodes online. Thanks for